Everybody, it's Pandy. I'm playing World of Tanks. This video's shout out is going to Bravo22G. He just started voice commentaries last Monday, and I want to give him a shout out because I want to let him know that his voice commentaries are all right. They're pretty decent. I mean, a little rough around the edges, but he's getting the hang of it. He's getting started. He just started Monday. Everyone was a little bit rough around the edges when they first start talking into the microphone. Posting it up on YouTube. I want to let you know, good friend, that you are doing pretty decent and carry on. Guys, show him some love. Hook this brother up. He's just getting started. Take a look at his videos i'll put a link in the video somewhere in the bottom right hand corner where the map is so you guys can take a look check them out now this video is going to be about the char b1 hans kumpfen wagon b2 740f the french tanks coming up real soon i want to just talk about a french tank i've been really excited waiting for these french tanks to come along everybody's talking about it so i figured it's a good time to make one about it that's already in game just keep in mind the char b1 has a lot of prototypes a lot of history, a lot of things going on. I mean, the primary design was pretty much put together in 1919, so just keep in mind the reason why of its odd, long shape. It was designed where World War I just finished, so put it out there, a lot of prototypes, a lot of design, there's a lot of gaps in the history. I can't go through them all, but I'm going to talk about it. Now, the primary concept for this bad boy tank happens to be a breakthrough type of concept, going after fortifications and placements and other tanks. At first, the limit cost was to be built like a self-propelled gun with the main arm being located in its front hall to limit the size of the gun and to again cut cost the gun was only able to move up and down just like an artillery piece but some artillery pieces they'll go left and right but this one only up and down this will force the tank to move its whole hall to aim that big gun that howitzer left or right now may of 1924 four prototypes were presented in completed conditions to be compared each having to drive 20 kilometers to the test course most of them never got to the test course and when they did most of them had broken down multiple times even one starting to come apart and during the maintenance of these vehicles during this drive sure that it was extremely difficult to maintain them because it had poor access or they had poor access to the engines more design changes were required and it took them about three years before a working prototype was ready for trials between march of 1927 and august of 1930 showed some improvements to the models to be what would be officially called as the char b now the char b1 came about after many alterations to meet the needs of the french army at the time in april of 1934 the first order of total of seven tanks came about other projects like the char b2 b3 and bb were already in the works but these versions never came to be as far as i know now the version that's used in world of tanks is technically the char b1 bis b i s bis this variant had thicker armor in its front 60 millimeters in fact and it comes with a APX4 turret with a long barrel of 47mm secondary gun. And while the tanks they don't realistically show the howitzer, all they have is the 47mm secondary gun. This gun was primarily just meant to protect the tank against other targets while the howitzer was the one pointed at fortifications and bigger shit. This variant has a top speed of 25 kilometers an hour with an operational range of 180 kilometers. The last tanks produced in June of 1940 had an extra sized internal fuel tank, pretty much extending the range of 210 to 230 kilometers. Production of any of the models ran extremely slow with an average of 15 tanks per month. This number peaked up to 45 tanks per month in March of 1940. The main production type between April of 1937 till June of 1940 with just a total of 1,144 being delivered to the French army in many different types of variances. The Char B served with armored divisions of the infantry, whatever that means. These were highly specialized units of pretty much armor with organic infantry trained to break through fortified enemy positions. These new units never performed the way that they were supposed to because of the old guard style commanders in the French army. During the invasion of France, many ad hoc units were formed to resist German units coming across the border of Belgium. Many of these acted as autonomous heavy armored companies with a mix from everywhere, ranging from the Hotchkiss to the Char B1. Many of these units destroyed quite a few German tanks, but the lack of being able to formulate a strategic command really effectively destroyed the mobile reserve type tactics, primarily due to the lack of infantry and artillery being attached. After the fall of France, many 
of these tanks were pressed into service as second line tanks and training vehicles with the German military. 60 of them were pretty much converted into flamethrower platforms, while 16 were converted into 105mm self-propelled artillery units. Even one company was equipped with the Char B-1 BIS to be deployed at the Channel Islands for occupation duties at 1941 to 1945. And where are the tanks? This version is the Char B-1 BIS, and it's actually quite interesting. It is the biggest of the three French tanks currently in the game, and it kind of gives us a sneak peek into the French tanks. Kind of, not really. The main gun, like most premium tanks, is like a machine gun. Its reload rate of two seconds with a fully trained crew and a gun lane drive makes an extremely accurate, fast-loading, pretty much machine gun. Tears into everything except a few heavily armored frontals like the M3 Lee and the Panzer III. Gold rounds is the best solution for these frontals, for them at least. Overall the gun, like its smaller red-headed step chop, is very capable of destroying most tanks of its tier, especially with the gun lang drive. The armor on this bad boy is simply crazy for its tier. The sprawl liner is pretty much what makes you kind of like moss-like, I don't know, that type of effect. Tier 4 already will ruin your day any day. And the M3 Lee's main gun is strong enough to make you yell for mommy. However, everything else out there will kill you over time, but not very quickly. Just like a moss when it comes to tier 10s, 9s, and 8s. And you'll just simply be amazed at the amount of deflections and how much rounds you can absorb just purely because of the sprawl liner and the frontal armor. Honestly, the best weak spot on this bad boy happens to be the turret and also any hatches that you happen to find. There's a ha like some hatches on the uh, sides of the tank and also right on the front, the gunner's, uh, the driver's hatch is what I meant to say. There's also a hatch on the back of the turret. I actually got ammo racked one time through that hatch on the back of the turret. I think it's on the right side. That is the left. On the back. Now, now the mobility of this tank is what you expect out of a tier 4 quote unquote heavy tank. It does not have a very high top speed but it's very comparable in regards to everything else for a tier 4 tank. Turning rate, pick up and go and everything else related to mobility is pretty good. In some ways it feels like it can outperform some of the other tier 2 and 3 light tanks when it comes to turning. Its top speed is what will slow you down in the rushes but no worries you'll pick up enough speed to be in there to support your teammates. Mobility is not really an issue it's just not a very high top speed. Overall, the Char B1 does fare pretty well for its tier. Actually, it fares better than well. It's actually pretty damn good. It's the only reason why I still have it, minus to make a YouTube video. I keep it just to convert experience. Now, as long as you don't get dropped into any matches where tier 6 or 5 are roaming around, you should operate fairly well without much opposition. And then the gun does make short work of most tanks, but like I said earlier, there's some tanks that you can't penetrate, which is always solved with gold rounds. Now, the armor will deflect and limit the amount of damage you do take in but you just got to play it smart of course the sprawl liner and armor can only do so much and by the way the sprawl liner does make a huge difference against tier 2 and tier 3 already just gotta watch out for the m3 lee that is usually the biggest competition that you will run into just purely because they will bitch slap you to no end and you will never believe what hit you mobility is ranked up there comparable with the other tier 4s i think i already said that but maybe minus the a32 and the a20 over Overall, pretty decent tank simply for being a gold tank and it's well worth the buy now of course of course because this is a future video for my sexy voice talking about another tank it's another gold giveaway contest thing I'll be giving away another $20 ultimate game card worth 2,000 points on play spam the card is good to anyone who plays world of tanks on the North American or European servers to win said card, you must be A, be subscribed to my channel, and B, post a comment or even a video response down below. Maybe about the question of the video, which is, which tank on the French tree are you looking forward towards? Honestly, I have no idea what I want, but I'm a big medium tank buff myself, so of course oh, that'll be the first direction I'll be headed. Who knows? Time will tell. Now, I did throw in there video responses along with the question. I forgot to mention that in the previous videos, but I did say way back when that video responses are acceptable. So if you have a video response that pretty much answers the question, this won't be a little difficult, but if you happen to have one, throw it in there. I'll be more than happy to have it up there. It should be automatic, but if it's not, I will accept them all. So that is pretty much it. I thank everyone for watching. I am Pandy. You guys take it easy and good hunting.